Namaste everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we are diving into a super useful project, turning a Raspberry Pi into a powerful network attached storage or NAS. Network attached storage or NAS enables you to store files wirelessly from your computers and mobile devices onto external hard drives using your home or office network. With Raspberry Pi, you can link your current storage devices like external portable hard drives and USB flash drives to establish secure backups for all your crucial files. These backups are accessible from anywhere globally. Let's get started. Before we dive into our NAS project, let's go over the supplies you'll need. First and foremost, you'll need a Raspberry Pi. It's worth noting that we've housed our Raspberry Pi in an Argon 1 V2 case. This choice offers not only convenience but also enhances connectivity, making our NAS setup even more streamlined. Make sure you have the appropriate power supply for it. Initial setup and network connectivity require an Ethernet cable. Additionally, you'll require a micro SD card along with an adapter to connect it to your computer for the initial setup. Finally, for our NAS storage, we'll be using an external USB storage device, specifically a 2.5-inch SATA SSD. To connect this to your Raspberry Pi, you'll need a SATA to USB converter. For the initial setup, you'll also need another computer connected to your network. Step 1. Set up your Raspberry Pi. To get started, first, watch our previous video on setting up your Raspberry Pi. The only difference this time is when selecting your operating system, opt for Raspberry Pi OS Lite 32-bit version. For the best performance, connect your Raspberry Pi to your network via an Ethernet cable. For most people, this means connecting the device directly to your router. Connect your storage device to the powered USB hub, and then link the hub to your Raspberry Pi. In our setup, we are directly attaching a low-powered SSD to your Raspberry Pi's USB port. Lastly, power up your Raspberry Pi by reconnecting it to the power supply. Once your Raspberry Pi is set up, establish an SSH connection to it using PuTTY. To SSH into the Raspberry Pi, you'll use the hostname you set in Imager. If you have issues connecting using this method, you may want to use the Raspberry Pi's IP address instead. Step 2. Update Raspberry Pi Before we proceed with setting up our Raspberry Pi NAS, it's essential to ensure that our Raspberry Pi is running the latest software updates. To do this, we'll execute the following command in the terminal. sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade. Executing this command will help ensure that our Raspberry Pi NAS setup runs smoothly and securely. Step 3. Installing Open Media Vault Run the following command as shown on screen to install Open Media Vault. Executing this command will download a script from the provided URL and run it with root privileges using sudo bash. This script automates the installation process of Open Media Vault on your Raspberry Pi and you'll successfully set up your Raspberry Pi as a NAS. You can find more information and follow along with the commands used in the script by visiting the link below. Once the installation of Open Media Vault is finished, run the following command to reboot your Raspberry Pi. sudo reboot. Step 4. Accessing Open Media Vault. With Open Media Vault now installed on the Raspberry Pi, you can access the web configuration panel from another device. To do this, you'll need to find the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Once you have the IP address, simply enter it or the hostname of the Raspberry Pi into your browser's URL bar to open the Open Media Vault web control panel. The default username is admin and the password is Open Media Vault. Use these credentials to log in, and you can always change them later for security purposes. 
The first screen you will be greeted with upon logging in is the dashboard. This is a quick way to see all the most pertinent information about the status of your Raspberry Pi NAS server. To begin configuring your NAS, let's adjust the access credentials. Navigate to the user option at the top and select Change Password. Input a new password and save the changes. Step 5. Mounting USB hard drive. Ensure that the USB drive is connected to your Raspberry Pi. Navigate to the storage options on the web portal and choose the disks option. Here, you'll find a rundown of the storage devices linked to your Pi. If the USB drive is properly connected, its name will be visible in the list. Additionally, you'll notice another storage device, which is the SSD card housing the Raspberry Pi OS. To utilize the connected drive as NAS storage, head to file systems within the same menu. Select option mount an existing file system. Pick the drive you wish to mount from the list and save your selections. Once the drive is successfully mounted, it will display as connected under the status. Proceed by applying the settings when prompted by the pop-up labeled Pending Configuration Changes. Let's establish a shared folder for our NAS setup. To do this, go to the storage section and choose Shared Folders. Next, click on the plus sign in the top menu to create a new folder. Provide a name for your folder of choice. Under File Systems, select your drive from the drop-down list. Additionally, choose the desired permissions from the drop-down menu. Save your settings and apply the changes, similar to what we've done previously. Step 6. Sharing drive over the network. Now, let's set up our NAS to be accessible over the network. Under Services, we'll activate two important services. NFS for Linux, Mac, and SMB for Windows. These services allow users to access our NAS from their computers or mobile devices. To enable SMB, go to SMB, CIFS, and turn on the service, then save your settings. Next, go to Shares in the top menu, click Add, and choose the shared folder we created earlier. Save and apply your settings. Repeat the same process to enable NFS services. Save and apply your settings. By completing these steps, your NAS will be ready to share files over the network with both Windows and Linux Mac users. Next, let's incorporate a new user to access our NAS. Begin by accessing the settings options and select the user home directory, which corresponds to our shared folder on the NAS. Then, navigate to the users section and click on the plus sign at the top to introduce a new user. Assign a username and password, then proceed to save the changes. Let's double check to ensure everything is functioning as expected. On your Windows computer, open File Explorer and navigate to this PC. Right click anywhere in the window and select Add a Network Location. Proceed by entering the IP address of your Raspberry Pi in the format IP address of your Raspberry Pi followed by name of shared folder. Click next and then finish. You'll be prompted to log in with the credentials you set up earlier. Once logged in, you should now be able to access the NAS storage. Let's do a quick test by copying some files from your PC to your NAS storage. This will help ensure everything is working smoothly. Once you've successfully copied and accessed files on your NAS, it confirms that you've effectively set up and activated your very own NAS server. Once your Raspberry Pi NAS is set up, keep it running on your network shelf. This way, you can easily share files across all your devices without any hassle. Just leave it plugged in and enjoy the convenience of accessing your files from anywhere, anytime. No need to worry about sharing or storing your files anymore. 
Congratulations! You've successfully set up your Raspberry Pi NAS storage. With this setup, you've created a powerful network storage solution that allows you to securely store and access your files from anywhere on your network. If you ever need to expand or customize your NAS further, there are plenty of resources available online to help guide you. Thank you for following along with this tutorial. If you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to reach out. Happy file sharing! Gadgets Pod. Exploring technologies. Get ready to showcase your stories, showcase your talent and connect with the world in a whole new way. Happy streaming and happy creating.